morning. Hello everyone, it's Sonia, NJ Garden Teacher, and welcome to Garden Teacher's Yard with me and Miss Pomona Sprout. Today we are rocking, oh, today, still Black History Month, we are rocking Level Up Earrings from Izzy and Liv. We have another Harry Potter themed headband from Terrence Williams Designs. And you know, I'm just wearing a Herbology Harry Potter fan shirt. But I mean, now that I've let all of you see my nerd side. Okay, so today is a mild day. The snow, it's foggy, it's a little rainy. We're supposed to be in the 50s today, but it is melting the snow. No, we're not going that way. Come on, come on. First thing I wanna do is check on the wine bottle bed. So let's go, come on, Moan. No. <laughs> He's trying to play with whatever snow is left. Bed's looking pretty good. The snow has melted. And I can see here's that larkspur that's coming up. There's some parsley that is still there. This, I accidentally took out my asparagus. I'm so sad. Yes, I love it too. <laughs> There's lots of little holes around here. That tells me there are some burrowers. This product right here, I Must Garden has been like the best deterrent I have used. This is going to repel anything that burrows. They don't like the smell. Today's a great day to put it out because it's raining. It's not gonna kill them, but it's gonna deter them from wanting to be wherever this stuff is. I can always count on my Corona Tools meter. This is what it looks like. Look at that. It smells so good. It smells like mint. And there's nothing in here that is harmful. Even if you have children, you can get them to help you spread this all over a garden space. What I'm gonna do right now is just throw some handfuls out here. It's the rain is starting to pick up again. You really wanna do it when it's raining or in the summertime or spring when um, you can use your water hose. You want to water it in, because that's what's really going to make uh, the little burrowers want to get away. Once it starts, that scent and everything starts coming down, they're out of here. So let's go do this. You can see I'm, I have a gloved hand, but I'm also using my bare hand and it's okay, Pomona's over here sniffing it. She wants to know what it is. It's all right, it's not toxic for her. Like I said, it's not toxic for you, it's not toxic. Okay, it's not toxic for your children. Pomona just said you need to get it. I'm a huge fan and I just want them to move out of this bed. That application should be good for about 30 days. And what I will do is come back and of course, check on it a couple times a week. See if there's any new holes or if I can tell if uh, they vacated the premises. Last time we were together, you also know that I tried out a new spot. I put cardboard underneath. <laughs> Since that time, we've had a great snow. Pomona has walked on it. That's fine. There's nothing in here she's gonna hurt. And being able to be upstairs and look down, I can really picture me expanding this area. So I'm just going to walk around it really quick. And while we're walking, and hopefully she goes potty, I'm gonna show you pictures of previous seasons. starting to come down a little harder so we're gonna take this road show on the inside but you can see from the pictures hopefully you can see from the pictures I posted what it looked like what ideas I already have if you have some ideas definitely 
send me a message. I love collaborative work. What I've been able to do is already, let me show you one area. I haven't even shown you this area on video. I'll insert some pictures here of this area, first area that I'm talking about. When I first started gardening, there were shrubs all back there. I mean, just the typical boxwoods. I had them ripped out and it was the very first area where I started gardening and it was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, I remember when my friend Bree came up to visit during the summer and she was like, oh my goodness, look at your garden. And I was so proud. I was so, so proud because I grew everything that was in there. And I mean, solidified the love, the love that I have for gardening. So in this area, I already have it drawn out. And what I've done, a lot of people will draw to scale, like for every box, these are centimeter blocks, centimeter grid paper. So for maybe every centimeter equals a foot or every inch equals 10 feet, something like that. I mean, it's up to you when you're drawing it, how you want to do it. I just kind of freehand draw it. Do I draw it to scale? No, I don't draw it to scale. This is my rough sketch. This is for me. This is what works best for me. When you're watching all of these videos and you're reading all of the books and, you know, I really thought I had to sit down and do all of these things perfectly. And as I started, as I continued gardening, I just noticed like, it didn't have to be perfect. No matter what, things still grew. And like I keep saying, this is why I want to share gardening with all of you. Because when you're watching all of these videos and there's square foot gardening and there's no-till and there's lasagna and there's hugel culture and permaculture and all of these terms that can be so overwhelming to a beginning gardener. I'm just going to tell you how I did it and how I continued doing it. So this is really important and keeping records of what you're doing is especially important. Here is another drawing. This is what I had started last year, but then as I was telling you guys in the um, pulling weeds, sewing poppies and like getting my life together video, <laughs> I didn't follow through with this in year one. I just had sunk into this depression and I really needed to focus on my mental health and drawing out my garden was not helping. Just being able to just be out there and do was helping. So I, I followed no rules last year. And guess what? Everything still grew. Everything grew, everything flourished. I was still able to eat tomatoes and peppers and cook up Swiss chard and everything else. So I'm telling you, nature, nature does what she do. She does what she do. She's done it before us. She will do it long after we're all gone. Nature does what she do. So what I've done is planning out this area and I am so excited because what I would like to do with that area this year, which I've never done, is put melons in it. I want to have watermelon in it and cantaloupe and I have marjoram and sage and marigolds and cabbage and I really researched when I knew I wanted to put in watermelons. I really researched, well, what companion plants go with that? Well, I found out, put in peas and spinach. Um, I'm starting with lettuce and spinach, of course, because those are early spring crops. Those are the things that are going to grow very early in the season. And then when it's time to put in my watermelon starts, they'll be just about finished. I can go ahead, put in the starts. As the lettuce and peas start to fizzle out, all good. 
because now I have the watermelon that'll be in there and growing. So I'm really excited for that and putting in all the companion plants, nasturtium. There's some geranium that's in there that's very special to me. It was given to me and um, putting in some carrots. Uh, what else do I have in here? <laughs> oh, there's sage, there's mint. There's gonna be more nasturtium, tons of marigolds. I love marigolds. So this is the first area that I'm really gonna focus on because I want to get those things started. So I know that I want to start with lettuce and thankfully I have everything organized. I can come into my L's and there's, I've got leeks. I've got different types of lettuce from Seed Savers, Fairy Morse, um, Fruition Seeds. And I just have to figure out what things I'm going to put in. I love butter lettuce. Definitely always, always, always something that goes into my garden is this lettuce. I just love it. If I'm making a salad, I'm going to have butter lettuce and spinach in it. So this one, I know takes 40 to 50 days to grow. There's information on the back, tells you all about it. Um, I know the temps that this lettuce needs to, uh, to grow well. It's best grown in cooler weather. And it also is something that you grow in succession. Once I have the idea of everything I'm gonna put in that space to start, I'm gonna start my first batch of seeds. Once I start those, it's gonna take uh, anywhere from a week to two weeks to germinate. I'm going to, two weeks later, plant another batch of these seeds. Why would I do that? That's something that we do for succession sowing or succession planting. As your plants grow, there's only so much energy that that plant has. It's not gonna keep growing forever. It's going to grow until its energy is gone and it's given you all the food that it can. And what you do is plant it. I like to plant my lettuce. Two weeks later, I'm gonna plant some more lettuce seedlings. So as that first batch grows and expends all of its energy, it has fed us very well it's time for me to go ahead and start harvesting the next batch and so on and so on until it's too warm for the lettuce to grow. This lettuce, once it gets really into mid-May here in zone 7B, it starts to get too warm for it and it's gonna bolt pretty quick, which means it's gonna grow and go to seed. That is wonderful. I am gonna let these go to seed so I can seed save, like, you know, seed savers. I'm gonna save those seed and I can use them over and over every year. That is a quick video lesson on how I get started. If you want to learn more and go deeper on this journey, I just started a Patreon. I can't believe that I did this. I was up really late trying to figure it out, but I just started a Patreon and there are different levels. It starts at $5 and it goes up to $100. If you want to be a Patreon, there are some great things that you can get at all of those levels, but I will share with you, no matter what level you are, this journey. So you'll get to see more in-depth, more personal, more frequent postings of small videos, small clips of what I'm doing, how am I planting, how am I seed sowing, and you also get to support me along this journey. Please go support my Patreon. There's some great things for you at every level and I would appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Oh, here comes the, here comes the big dog. Here comes a Pomona sprout. Pomo Pomona say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my mommy. Yes? Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day and keep growing. Bye.